I'm James Spann. This is the Weather Extreme video for Monday, the 1st of March. Boy, that's exciting. Getting close to springtime here, but a potential winter weather problem brewing here. And a lot to talk about. Let's go right to the Skycam shots around the network this morning. How about a moon over Tuscaloosa? That's a view there coming from the top of the Tuscaloosa County Courthouse, looking back off to the west. We'll go down south. Nice shot there of the campus of Auburn University, as seen from the Skycam there down in Lee County. And from Inverness, nice and calm on Highway 280 this morning. That shot captured at 4.51 a.m. Who in their right mind would be awake at this hour? Here's the uh, water vapor satellite shot. Boy, what a good-looking storm coming at us. Uh, very impressive dynamics involved here. And, uh, of course, everybody wants to know who gets the rain, who gets the snow. And we'll see if we can address some of those uh, questions this morning. Numbers are mostly between 30 and 35 around here. Actually, 36. Birmingham's one of the warmer spots. Anniston, 33. Tuscaloosa, 35. Below freezing up north. On the watch warning map, uh, so far the only watches up for this storm involving winter weather. Extreme northeast Georgia and parts of the Carolinas. And we'll begin to see more of those watches coming up for uh, areas northeast of there with time. Uh, nothing for Alabama or Tennessee or Mississippi. Here's the uh, QPF chart, expected precipitation overall with this storm. And the heaviest is over the southern half of the state, as we have been expecting. And that remains the same. Amounts of uh, one to one and a half inches below Montgomery. Uh, amounts up this way about uh, uh, one half inch. And then the amounts go down to just a trace up around the shoals. Look at the uh, snow outlook for tomorrow from uh, HPC. This is the probability of at least four inches of snow. And uh, there is a chance of that from Georgia, North Georgia, Atlanta, and Rome, up through parts of the Carolinas. And then on day three, that risk really begins to shift offshore to some degree. It looks like this one could miss the major East Coast cities, and uh, they will rejoice if that, uh, at that if that is indeed the case. Well, let's get down and get with it. This is the uh, GFS, the 06Z run at noon today. And there's your storm. This is the one we call Clarence uh, that is located uh, over Texas. And down below that, we've got the developing surface low in the northwestern Gulf. Uh, we'll stay dry today with clouds increasing. We'll go to uh, midnight tonight. All right. And again, this is the uh, GFS. Surface low just south of Pensacola, pretty good one there, almost 1,000 millibars. Heaviest precipitation south of that uh, freeze line there at 850. Looks like it will start as rain uh, late tonight, maybe mixing with a few snowflakes. And then by tomorrow at 6 o'clock, the surface low is uh, inland near Apalachicola. That would be some good rain for much of uh, uh, southeast Alabama and central Alabama. And there, there's some hint. There could be a change over to snow back on this side of the state. And then at noon, the whole thing is beginning to wind down. Heavier uh, uh, shot of precipitation there from about uh, uh, Lafayette and Roanoke up to Atlanta and Greenville, South Carolina. And that is a very uh, preferred area for snow with a cyclone like that. But the thermal values are the uh, big question. Let's look at the uh, NAM output. This is 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, and you can see that the uh, model is farther south with its moisture field. It's also a bit colder, but the uh, moisture field is basically south of here. And we'll check the RPM model at 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. And uh, where the snow should be falling, it's the blue, and the blue is all north of us up in Tennessee. And that's clearly showing all rain around here uh, at 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. So uh, the RPM has never been bullish on any snow with this, and it's certainly not right now. Uh, I wanted to show you the... Uh, NAM snow output. Uh, this is the uh, based on the OZ run. I'm sorry, this is the GFS snow output. And this is the most aggressive model we've got. All the other ones really don't suggest anything here. Uh, this is suggesting amounts of maybe one inch. That's the darker purple there, or pink, from just north of Birmingham and Coleman up to uh, Fort Payne and Scottsboro. Other than that, just trace amounts. And again, that's the most aggressive model we have. And here's the real problem with getting snow here. We'll look at the uh, thickness, uh, critical thickness values. This is coming off the NAM at 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. And really, the, the key one to watch, it's that uh, 1300 line, the black line. That is the low level thickness, uh, 1000 to 850 millibars. And that's the big problem. It's just not that cold in the low levels. And notice that uh, line is up there right on the Tennessee border. The other thickness values that are based more on the temperatures aloft are down there south of us. 
But uh, that's the 1300 line, and again, that's a problem. Uh, we'll look at the GFS, and by golly, it's pretty identical. In fact, it's a little warmer uh, aloft, but still you can see that 1300-meter uh, uh, thickness line runs from near uh, Chattanooga down to about, I don't know, Vernon or Millport, something like that in Lamar County. So uh, at the moment, we just don't see any evidence to think this will be a big winter storm for us. Having said that, there is great potential for surprise here. Boy, you see these things rolling out of here in early March. They are very dynamic and uh, sometimes cooling from above can create some problems that we don't know about. But for the moment, we'll just kind of maintain the chance of uh, uh, a light rain or a, maybe a good rain coming in here after midnight tonight. And then with some chance of a changeover to snow tomorrow and maybe the uh, dusting in spots, maybe a little bit of accumulation up in uh, northeast Alabama on the ridges above uh, 1,500 feet, Lookout Mountain, places like that. But for the moment, it looks like it's not going to be a big problem. But the big uh, uh, disclaimer here is that look out for surprises. We'll go to Wednesday. The whole thing is gone. And again, if that's right, it's just going to miss those big East Coast cities, barely. But again, they'll be thankful for that. We're cold and dry Thursday. We're still pretty chilly. Uh, highs may be around 50 with a uh, still cold air advection going on here. Uh, Friday, we begin to moderate somewhat. We stay dry. And then Saturday, kicking off the weekend. Looks like a pretty nice day. We'll be up there uh, maybe close to 60, low and mid-60s perhaps in spots. Should be very nice, much like yesterday. Sunday, we stay dry and pleasant. So how about a dry and pleasant weekend? That sounds good. But look at next week on Monday. Here comes the next wave. And this is the one we called Dolly. And yeah, I'm not going to name any more of these. I promise. Uh, down below that, that looks like a severe weather outbreak for Parts of uh, eastern Texas, southeast Oklahoma, Arkansas, Louisiana. And a week from tomorrow, Tuesday of next week, could be a severe weather or heavy rain problem here. And again, that's uh, March 9th, surface low near Chicago. So we'll kind of go from the snow mode to the severe weather mode perhaps in a week. But look here out there at mid-month. That's cold looking. Uh, big ridge pumped up over the uh, western part of the continent, downstream trough and uh, yeah, pretty brisk, and here comes uh, maybe some winter weather mischief. On the 15th, the cold air deepens with a surface low off the Atlantic coast. Cold with flurries showing up there, and then on the uh, 16th, it's still pretty chilly with a big storm just east of the middle Atlantic coast of the United States. Peak at the Arctic Oscillation, uh, you can see that uh, we try and get up there in the, in the positive territory, and that's about the time we get that severe weather event, but look what happens. It goes negative again at mid-month, so... Goodness, uh, just having a hard time getting that thing out of negative territory. So we might have that warm-up next week where we have the uh, thunderstorm issue and then just maybe we turn colder again at mid-month, and that's what the uh, uh, AO there is telling us. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see, all of the places close to me, they're all part of all the best things about home. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.